Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial series slash crash course on ROS1 Noetic. If you have never used robot operating system before, or if you want a quick and practical refresher of the basics, this series is for you. The goal of this crash course is simply to get you started with ROS in a very short amount of time. You will learn how to install and set up everything, how to use the main ROS concepts with the command line interface and tools, and you will also write your own ROS programs with Python. In fact, throughout the series, we will do together a small but complete ROS application using a 2D simulation of a robot. I have designed the series so that you can really get a better understanding of the global picture and also get some practical knowledge that will be useful for your next step with ROS. Note here that this tutorial series targets ROS1 and not ROS2. And we are going to use the latest ROS1 distribution named Noetic. There are some prerequisites you have to have to use ROS. So basically you need to be familiar with Ubuntu and the Linux command line. And to write ROS code, you will also need to know a bit about uh, C++ and Python. But here we will stick to Python, so just Python should be fine. Now this crash course is super great to get you started. And if you want to go further and dive into more details, explanations, concepts, and C++ code, I also have a six hours course on ROS. So if you're interested, I've put a link in the video description below, and I will talk a bit more about that later on. Now let's get started with the series. In this first episode, we are going to install and set up ROS Noetic on Ubuntu 20.04, so that in the next episode, you can use ROS functionalities. So here I'm going to start from Ubuntu 20.04 that I have already installed on a virtual machine with VirtualBox. You can use either Ubuntu installed with a dual boot or in a virtual machine, it doesn't really matter and it's up to you. And if you want to follow the exact same step as me, but you don't know how to install Ubuntu on VirtualBox, I have another YouTube video just for that. I'm going to put the link also in the description because I don't want to spend too much time for that here. And now let's install ROS Noetic on Ubuntu 20.04. So you're gonna open a terminal, and so I'm gonna put this terminal on the side, and I'm also gonna open Firefox here or any web browser and search for ROS Noetic. So you can go to the first link, should be uh, wiki.ros.org slash noetic or something like that, and you're gonna get to this ROS Noetic page. In the installation part, you click here, and then you will need to select your platform. So we are using Ubuntu and you have the installation for Ubuntu. So I'm going to show you exactly which instructions you need and which one we're going to just ignore. And so let's get started. So first of all, you will need to set up your sources.list. So you can't just install ROS, you first have to update the sources. So we're going to copy and paste that line here first. So let's put our password. Okay, set up the keys. So here you have two commands. Let's copy the first one. So install curl. For me, it's already going to be installed. And then do that command to set up the keys. You should see. Okay. After that, now we can do sudo apt update. Okay, that's going to update and find the new sources. And as you can see here, you should have something like this. Packages.ros.org. Okay, slash ROS slash Ubuntu. So if you have something with ROS, then everything is working as for now. We can now install ROS and well, we have to choose. We have to choose between ROS Noetic Desktop Full, ROS Noetic Desktop, or ROS Noetic ROS Base. So what is the difference here? So this ROS Base here is the minimal installation. It just contains what you need to make uh, ROS run correctly. So the packaging, the build, communication libraries, okay, you don't have any graphical tools. This is just the bare bones of ROS. And then you have the desktop install, which is everything in ROS base and tools like, so graphical tools to debug your programs, a bit of simulation, a bit of uh, examples. So you have more things that are useful for developing. And then the desktop full, which is the desktop, and you have 2D, 3D simulators and stuff like that. For this crash course, 
we will not need desktop full. So if you want, you can install desktop full right away, but we're gonna install the desktop, which will be enough. So you just copy this line here, you press enter and boom. As you can see, ROS is quite big. So here you will need to download almost 300 megabytes and this is gonna install 1.6 gigabytes. You just put yes and then you can just make yourself a coffee and come back in a few minutes. Great, so once you are here, then as you can see here, I'm back to the terminal, ROS Noetic is correctly installed. And so here we have installed ROS Noetic Desktop. And one quick tip here is that if you want to install any other ROS Noetic package, you will simply need to do sudo apt install ROS Noetic name of the package. And here with those, so ROS base, desktop, and desktop full, those are kind of meta packages which are going to install a bunch of other packages. And if you want to install the desktop full later on, well, you just need to run this command and it's gonna install all the packages on top of desktop. So this is gonna stay the same and it's just gonna install the missing packages. All right, and now that ROS is installed, well, that's not all because you need to set up the environment. So as you can see, you must source this script in every bash terminal you use ROS in. So anytime you open a terminal, anytime you open a session, if you connect to SSH, okay, to your virtual machine or to any machine you have installed ROS on, you will need to source this line. So what this is, well, actually, let's do clear here. If we go to slash opt, okay, and slash ROS, now you will have a ROS folder here. You can see we have Noetic because we have just installed Noetic. I'm gonna go inside Noetic and you have a setup.bash script. So ROS is installed, but if you want to be able to use it in that terminal, you would need to source that script. So you can just source it from there or you can source it using the absolute path. I'm gonna copy this. Okay, let's come back to the home directory. And now once you have sourced this, you can start ROS. And let's actually start a ROS master. So to start a ROS master, you need to run ROS core. So the ROS core command, you press enter and you should see this. This is a ROS master. So you can see the version here, Noetic, and then nodes, auto starting new master, okay, with a process ID and stuff. And once you have this, in order to kill the ROS master, you press control C and you are back to the terminal. So as we will see later on, you need a ROS master first, and then you can launch any node, any program, etc. But first of all, you will need a ROS master. And to use this ROS master, you need to set up the environment. Now, if I open a new terminal and I do ROS core, well, command ROS core not found. And as you can see, they say to you that uh, it can be installed with this uh, command here, apt install python3 ROS launch. And please don't install this, okay? This is absolutely not what you should do. If you have this error, it's because you have not sourced this bash script. Okay, so I'm gonna source it again. You need to source it in every terminal, in every session. And then I'm gonna do ROS core. And you can see we have a ROS master. So Control C to kill the ROS master. So, well, make sure that if you have this error, you know that it's because you have to source this script. And now in every terminal you create and you open, you will need to source that script. So that's gonna be a bit uh, boring, okay? To do that every time. So what we can do instead is we can add this directly to our bash rc file. And what is a bash rc file? It's simply a file that's gonna be executed with some script every time you open a session or a terminal. That's gonna be executed first. And so we can simply do this. So just copy this line, echo, and then the source script inside the bash rc. So just copy that and run that once. I press enter. If you want to verify, let's just use jedit with the bash rc. So that's gonna be in your home directory and then dot, because that's a hidden file, bash rc. Okay, so the bash rc contains a lot of lines, and if you go at the very end, you will have this line. Okay, so make sure you have this line at the end with ROS Noetic. 
Okay, now if I close all the terminals and I open a new one, I can do ROSCOR and it's gonna work because the source line has been executed in the bash SC when I opened the terminal. All right, and now you have successfully installed and set up ROS on your Ubuntu operating system. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course named ROS for Beginners. This course contains six hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete ROS applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.